Yo, it is 2013 and I cannot breathe underwater. We have got some messed up priorities, human race. Anthony here for D News and I'm serious. I wanna breathe underwater. If there are people out there making plants glow and trying to make brains in jars control power plants, somebody has gotta be working on my dream of becoming Aquaman. Well, let's say Namor because Namor is cooler than Aquaman. Well, there is something in the works that could potentially do the job. Last year, a team at Boston Children's Hospital invented a microparticle full of oxygen that you can inject into someone's bloodstream. These particles are these little membranes of fat that hold four times more oxygen than our red blood cells. The particles are able to keep a patient alive for 30 minutes after respiratory failure. They don't need to breathe because the point of breathing is to oxygenate your blood and well, there it is. These injections could be used in swimmers and divers too. Inject, hold breath, instant aerial of the Little Mermaid. Rescue divers could take the injection themselves or carry one to use on people drowning or trapped underwater. But if you're actually stuck on the idea of breathing water like I am, well, there's no progress on that front. But there has been research into breathable liquids. There's this James Cameron movie, The Abyss. It's one of my favorites. These undersea scientists breathe liquid instead of air. And when they demonstrate it, they drop a mouse into this liquid and make him breathe. That mouse, was actually breathing liquid. That was legit, that was not special effects. Most breathable liquid experiments are done using perfluorinated hydrocarbons. These are liquids that can dissolve both oxygen and carbon dioxide. They're twice as dense as water and can actually hold more oxygen than air. Of course, it's harder for our lungs to move liquid around than it is to breathe a gas. Think about how you feel when you're sick and your lungs are congested. It's hard to push that stuff back out. You could probably only breathe this liquid for a couple minutes because you are not supposed to breathe liquid. Full stop. So why do we experiment with it? Well, a lot of lung and respiratory problems can be aided by these oxygenated liquids. If somebody's had respiratory failure because they inhaled too much smoke or their lungs are filled with toxins, the liquid could be used to flush the contaminants out of them while still giving them the oxygen they need. Premature babies are given breathable liquids sometimes because their lungs can be underdeveloped and still used to breathing the liquids they do in the womb. If we're looking for physically safe ways of staying underwater, it looks like those microparticle injections are the way to go, although they are still being tested. All I want is to be able to live underwater forever, science. Is that so hard? I'm probably just gonna chill over at the mermaid section of Animal Planet and kind of dream of a better life, you guys. Sort of my happy place. Go over there and live the dream with me. It's animalplanet.com slash mermaids and be sure to subscribe for more D-News.